yoga in essence is a philosophy than its mere mechanical applications this philosophy is based on the unique ancient indian text called the patanjali yoga sutras the yoga sutras mainly focuses its attention on the self realization of man also in this text it is emphasized that the fluctuations and the negative impulses of mind are the impediments to self realization abhyasa or the proper practice of yoga is the only process recommended to avoid these false notions of mind the word yoga itself is incorrect the correct usage is yogam which means dialectical union in this particular sense of the term yoga is the harmony of man's sense of individuated consciousness and the unconditional supreme truth the obstacles to that unity are the conditioned alternations in our mind though lots have been talked about mind in psychology and common parlance we cannot directly perceive the nature of mind nor is it visible but we can experience the prana or the flow of the vital air the prana and mind coexist within us just like the heat and light exist in a fire functions of the prana are rather easier to control than mind by controlling prana we could also get the control over mind asanas are the preparatory bodily factors for pranayama by such systematic regular approach of yoga the mind comes into control of the practitioner and progressively the mind becomes filled with peace and joy in due course the state of tranquility and bliss gradually gets transmitted equally into every cells of the body and thus the person in practice start to experience a pure state of psychophysical equilibrium this is none other than what we call the pure health or natural hygiene the yoga as it is understood in the common jargon is only the mechanical side of the real system of yoga which in fact has eight limbs in total more than its mechanical implications yoga in reality is a true way of life find a teacher find a qualified teacher if one can and try to study it properly to practice it throughout the life then diseases will never haunt us in fact no treatment for corona virus has yet been found neither has the world developed a preventive vaccination to stop the spreading of it so what we are doing at present is prescribing antiretroviral drugs for the symptoms caused by corona virus one major fact to be noticed is that the corona would never get into someone with good immunity even if the virus hit such a person with high immunity it wouldn't be dangerous and the consequences would limit to the possibility of a high fever or so therefore all we have to do is to increase the immunity by following naturopathic way of life which gives importance to right foot systematic exercises proper rest and correct yoga practices true yoga education not only strengthens the body but also empowers the mind so just rejoice on this international day of yoga and not be afraid we shall surely overpower the threat of corona with the grace of the great science of yoga thank you